Test one, two, check. Test day one, two, three. One, two, three. Players, if you could please sit down. Good morning, players, coaches, parents, grandparents, and guests. Welcome to the 64th annual opening day of Max and Away Little League. Baseball is strong in North Haven. This year, we have 357 kids playing in four divisions on 29 teams, as well as four divisions of interleague travel. At this time, I would like the players to rise and call forward one of our own coaches, Don Harger, to sing the national anthem. Remove your caps. <laughs> oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last glow? Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er oh, the land of the free and the home of the Sit down again. Thank you. At this time, I would like to call forward our for first selectman in North Haven, Mike Frieda, to give us some words of advice on this coming season. Good morning. It's great to be here. I'd like to thank the leadership of Max Sinaway the parents, the coaches, and the umpires for what is going to be another unbelievable season of baseball here in North Haven. I'd like to give the fine staff of Public Works a uh, nice accolade, and please give them a round of applause for the condition of this field. This field and this program is very important to us in North Haven. I wanted to let you know that we're working very closely with the leadership of Max Sinaway. This field is an example of some of the improvements that you're going to continue to see here. 
working with my friends, our great state legislators, Dave Iacarino and Len Fasano. We've applied for grants, and part of a two to three year plan will be to continue to improve this great complex. This year, we've had the restoration of some backstops, a split fence put in, and we're working on some conceptual ideas that will improve this park even more greatly. One of the concepts would be, as you notice we've walked in, it was a dirt and gravel walkway. Our vision here in town is to have that to be paved, like with pavers and bricks, a beautiful aesthetic walkway connecting the two parking lots. We're looking to, of course, build another press box, another playscape here potentially, and this park, which is currently a wonderful destination for tournaments, will continue to be enhanced aesthetically with amenities that will make this one of the finest locations in the state. And that's some of the things that we're working on. On a lighter note, one of your coaches here, Mr. Kevin Irby, how many know Kevin Irby here? He has for years said that he wants to take me deep at this park pitching to him. So I'm going to issue him a challenge for those that know him. I don't think he's here yet. He's coming around 1030. You can tell him that Mike said he can put together the Kevin Irby All-Stars. And I'll come here in the summertime and pitch to his team to see if he can take me deep in this park. So that would be something, Craig, I'd like to have. And Chip, maybe we talk to Kevin about that, okay? As I conclude, I'd like to wish everyone a great season. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. I love baseball. I love North Haven. I love this Max Sinaway organization. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mike. I can now call forward our state senator, Len Fasano, for a few words. Thank you. The problem following Mike is you're obligated to run as fast as you can to the microphone. I actually thought Mike was going to slide into home plate on his way in. Uh, first of all, you know, this facility is a great facility and we need to invest in it. But the best investment in this town, in Max Sinaway, are the coaches who volunteer, the parents who bring their kids to the games and practices, because the friendships you make now are the friendships you will have the rest of your life. My kids went through Max Sinaway, and the friends that they had when they played are still friends today. And that's, that's what it's all about. It's about teamwork. It's about friends. It's about family. It's about volunteerism. It's about a strong town, and there's no other town that, that is stronger than the town of North Haven. Now, the other thing I want to say is that I think this is Mike's sixth year as first selectman. And according to Tim, I think we got four balls and two strikes on opening day. So we're going to put the pressure back on Mike to see if he can up that uh, scoreboard a little bit. Thank you. Have a great season. It's going to get warmer, I promise you, and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Len. And now a couple of words from our state representative, Dave Iacarino. Thank you very much. It's always a privilege and an honor to speak in front of the kids and the parents of North Haven. Before I do that, I'd like to thank the Honor Guard of the North Haven Volunteer Fire Department for what they do for us. All the coaches, the sponsors, we can't do this without you. The parent uh, involvement is just wonderful. For the children, just enjoy this. It's a great game. Work hard. Learn your positions. Be, be respectful to one another. Listen to your coaches and your parents. This is a fun game, but keep it fun, but always work hard and, and just enjoy yourself. I'd like to thank the Department of Public Works. You do a wonderful job in these fields. It's a great town. And enjoy the season and enjoy school. Do well. Thank you very much. Now on to Little League. It has been a tough season so far. The weather's hampered our practices and had us starting later than I could remember. But we started playing games this week, Scooter started practicing, and T-ball's coming next. So I'm looking forward to a great season. 
and it's a sunny day today. We'll have a lot of games down here. Looking forward to a great day. At this time, I would like to call up CJ and Jack Maricola for the players pledge and the parents pledge. <laughs> I trust in God, I love my country, and I will respect its laws. I will play fair and strive to win, but win or lose, I will always do my best. The Little League Parent Volunteer Pledge. I will teach all children to play fair and do their best. I will positively support all managers, coaches, and players. I will respect the decisions of the umpires. I will praise a good effort despite the outcome of the game. Last year down at these fields, I met a very special young man named Hunter Pagel. He became an inspiration to me and an inspiration to our players. Last year during our Junior Majors Championship, he took time out to come down here and spoke to both teams where he had friends. Hunter suffers from a disease called SMART. He's the only child in Connecticut, there are only 12 in this country and 80 in this world that have this. He has a positive attitude and a great spirit. And I'm making him an honorary member of my team this year, Tobin Chiropractic in Majors. Thankfully, he roots for the right team in the New York Yankees, and I have a shirt and hat here for him. With, of course, the number two. I'd like to bring Hunter and his mother sharing up to the microphone for a few words. Good morning, everyone. I know it's cold outside, but we all have warm hearts, so I know that it's all going to be great. Um, I'm so happy to be participating in the opening day ceremonies. And I'm rooting for all my friends. And I hope they all have a great season. Thank you. At this time, can I have Alex Barletta at home plate and Mike Freed on the mound? Hunter, could you please bring Mike the ball? Mike, we're looking for a strike this year, Mike.
Take the wheel off the plate, Michael. We'll give it to you. Hunter also has a Facebook page, so please follow him in his fight on Facebook. Hope for Hunter Page on Facebook. Thank you. You heard it time and time again. I want to offer a very special thank you to Phil Diana and his crew from the Board of Education. We do play on Green Acres. They've done a wonderful job supporting that field over the years and this year as well. Very special thanks to Public Works, who maintains these grounds and has done a wonderful job getting this ready despite having snow on the ground three weeks ago here. I'd like to thank Lynn Sadowski, Victor Palma, Mike Maturo, Mike Landino, and the crew on hand today to prepare the fields, Wayne Auger, Robbie Wallace, Martha Sambria, John Lazak. Please give them a big round of applause. At this time, this could not be made possible without the volunteers, coaches, team parents, and your parents that get you to practice in your games on time. Could you please give them, players, a big round of applause. Our next guest really needs no introduction, but I will try. Our honored guest once said, when they ask me what I do, I say I'm Bob DeMeo and I coach baseball. That's my identity. 23 years ago this Tuesday, Coach DeMeo surpassed Whitey Purick's long-held state record of 526 career wins. As of this morning, after defeating Branford last night, he has a seemingly insurmountable 845 wins at the helm of the Indians. After, after eclipsing the 800 win plateau in 2011, a New Haven Register article called the Mayo's all time win record a mark that might withstand the test of time and classify as a record that may never be broken. The writer went on to say, Want to win 800 but don't feel like enduring 53 seasons to get there? To get to 800 in a tidy 40 seasons, a coach would only have to average 20 wins a year. In the early 1950s, Coach DeMeo attended the newly opened Notre Dame High School in West Haven, where he was an original member of the football, basketball, and baseball teams. In his senior year, he was named Notre Dame's Outstanding Athlete of the Year. After graduating from Fordham University on a baseball scholarship, Coach DeMeo signed a minor league contract with the Baltimore Orioles and played in the Appalachian League. But after a season in the minors, he found his true calling as a coach and mentor to generations of our town's baseball players when he was hired in 1957 at North Haven High School. After serving as assistant in multiple sports, Coach DeMeo took over the baseball program in 1959. Dwight Eisenhower was president Man on that yet landed on the moon. Alaska and Hawaii had just gained statehood and gas was 59 cents a gallon. <laughs> he has been described as a hard-nosed and master strategist, demanding, direct, oftentimes blunt, but on a baseball diamond, he's a perennial winner. His results stand alone as a testimony to his excellence. Under Coach DeMeo's leadership, North Haven has won 20 league titles and four state championships 
1975, 1982, 1985, and most recent on Father's Day of 2003. Coach DeMeo was named Connecticut Coach of the Year on four different occasions. All Area Coach of the Year in 2003 and 2001 was selected Region 1 Coach of the Year as well as National Coach of the Year. The member of four different Halls of Fame, Coach DeMeo was chosen one of the heroes of the 20th century by the New Haven Register and best of the century by the Hartford Current in 1999. At the end of the 2009 baseball season, the baseball home of the Indians was renamed Robert E. DeMeo Baseball Field. At that time, his players announced they had created a scholarship in his name. Over the past two years, a $500 scholarship has been awarded to a graduating North Haven senior. Renowned nationally as well as across the state of Connecticut, Bob DeMeo's legacy will always be held close to home in North Haven. During his 58 years in town, he has coached hundreds of ball players who got their start right here on these fields and in our league. He spoke to his tireless dedication recently when he said, I have to prove myself every game and I try to get that across to the kids. It's a challenge. It's a competitive situation for me, and I love it. On behalf of Max Sinaway Little League, I would like to present Coach Bob DeMeo with this plaque, honoring his many years of service to North Haven baseball and the youth of our community. Coach, could you please come up to the microphone? I'd just like to take this time to thank the Little League organization, Max Sinaway, uh, you know, for this honor. I'm listening to this, and I know that uh, none of it would be possible uh, if it wasn't for uh, people in my life that really helped me along. Uh, first of all, I moved into this town over 50 years ago where it had 3,000 people and they said more cows or whatever than they had people. And uh, it was a labor of love for me. Uh, I was able to come into this town a number of times uh, to play baseball when I lived in New Haven. The semi-pro teams, the Parisi Oilers, the North Haven Traders, and I met and I played and I respected, you know, the kind of baseball used to be at the old Legion Field. It's the I-91, I guess, uh, kind of split in half. And I got the opportunity to coach at the high school uh, in, a, in, a, in a, uh, a town that I, I really had a connection to and also an uh, educational system that I thought was great. Uh, I've been been here ever since and have enjoyed it. Would rather live no other place in Connecticut or anywhere uh, because of the town, the education system, and what I see here is amazing. Okay, I look at, I look at all the people here and, and, uh, and I look at what they've done with the fields and I know that any success that the high school program has had it goes right back to the Little League where we have volunteer coaches, great administrators, and all they've done was get, get the young kids interested in, you know, baseball, you know, the greatest game around, and, uh, you know, I get a chance to help polish them off. So, you know, I would really like to honor you know, the Little League organization, all of all, many of whom are former players of mine, uh, you know, for the fact that I'm here, okay? That, that they made it very easy for me, uh, and it's certainly an honor. And uh, also, uh, I've had 
you know, probably the greatest assistant coaches to help me along. And many of them were former players uh, and, and former Little League participants. So, you know, it's, it's a situation that, you know, when I, when I look at it and I say, God, I've been coaching well over 50 years. I've had the players from North Haven, and I call them, uh, I know they're white collar, from white collar families, but for me, they played like blue collar, hard nosed uh, individuals that uh, would never accept defeat. So, uh, you know, I want to thank them. It's a privilege and honor for me to have coached them. Um, and also, lastly, because I, the game, we go, you know, the day belongs to the young kids today who are going to go out and play. Uh, my family has certainly helped me along. I have three kids, three wonderful children, an extended family, eight grandchildren. And I could never have lasted this long uh, if it wasn't for their participation to understand the passion that I've had for baseball. And of course, lastly, uh, everybody knows this who knows us. I would, would really like to recognize my wife. <coughs> I <coughs> choke up a little bit when I talk about this, who is with me and a number one fan for the team, and my number one fan has helped me along and has, has been there for me uh, so that I could follow my passion for high school baseball. So I want to thank everybody responsible for this recognition. I appreciate it very humbly. And I wish all the Little League players out there who are going to open their season or whatever today that love the game of baseball, play it with a passion, and play it with hustle. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day. I'm going to borrow a little bit upon what Coach said and what our dignitaries have spoken about. I've been coaching in this league for 12 years now. I started with my oldest son, Brendan. The first year, Max Inouye brought T-ball into town. And I finish up this year with my youngest, Daniel, who will be graduating from Little League this year. I've enjoyed every minute of it, and I've made friendships and memories here that will last me a lifetime. I'd also like to thank my board. There's been a lot of work going on the last few weeks. And I would like to wish them all a great season and a big thank you for getting us ready for today. I'd also like to thank my wife, Jennifer. It's been tough these last few years. There's a lot of time put in, a lot of late nights, and she never complains. So I would like to thank her also. I wish everybody this year a successful season. Success is not always in wins and losses, it's how you play the game. Respect the game of baseball and play hard. At this time, to close it out, I would like to bring forward Ben Schaefer from our T-Ball division, Sean Meehan from our Scooters division, and Antonio Fusco from our Junior Majors division. Please come up to the microphone.